Golden Retrievers are not just beloved family companions. They are canine superstars, champions in the field, heroes on the street, and cuddle monsters extraordinaire. But where did these golden guardians actually come from? Well, to understand where golden retrievers come from, we gotta travel back in time to the rugged Scottish Highlands to a man with a vision and a very interesting encounter with a dog named Nu. That's right, Nu. In this video today, we're gonna dive deep into the fascinating, surprising, and a little bit of hilarious origin story of the golden retriever. For now, let's start with their humble beginning. Let's embark our journey back to the 1860s, where the tale of the Golden Retriever begins with Sir Dudley Marjorie Banks, who later became known as Lord Tweedmouth. He was a Scottish nobleman, deeply devoted to hunting. Not content with the retrievers available at the time, Sir Dudley had a vision of creating the ultimate gun dog. He wanted his dream dog to be not only athletic and intelligent, but also possess a soft mouth delicately retrieving game birds without causing them any harm. This unique trait was crucial for hunters, ensuring that the birds returned undamaged, ready for the next hunt. Now let's dive into the exciting part. Meet Nu, a golden retriever Sir Dudley bought from a cobbler near Brighton, England. There was something special about him that caught Sir Dudley's attention. Although Nu's origins remain shrouded in mystery, with tales ranging from a Russian circus connection to a local breeding, what truly mattered was his gentle demeanor and exceptional retrieving skills. Sir Dudley was so impressed by Nu that he saw in him the potential to create the ultimate hunting companion. With Nu as the heart of his breeding program, Sir Dudley embarked on a passionate journey to refine and perfect the characteristics of the retriever breed. It was Nu's unique blend of charm and capability that inspired Sir Dudley to devote himself to breeding a line of dogs that would become known for their athleticism, intelligence, and gentle disposition. Thus, Nu became more than just a faithful companion. He became the cornerstone of a legacy, shaping the future of the retriever breed and leaving an indelible mark on the world of hunting and canine companionship, crafting the iconic Golden Retriever. Sir Dudley's dedication to perfecting the Golden Retriever didn't just stop with Nu. He meticulously planned out his breeding program, carefully selecting various breeds to cross with Nu. One of his choices was the flat-coated Retriever, known for its athleticism and agility. By adding the traits of this breed to the mix, Sir Dudley aimed to enhance the Golden Retriever's physical prowess. Throughout his breeding program, Sir Dudley introduced additional breeds such as the sandy-colored bloodhound and the Labrador Retriever to further refine the breed's characteristics. While puppies from these pairings displayed a range of colors, it was the golden ones that Sir Dudley recognized and nurtured, laying the foundation for the beloved Golden Retriever breed we cherish today. Moreover, Sir Dudley also added the now-extinct Tweedwater Spaniels for their exceptional water-retrieving abilities. These spaniels were renowned for their proficiency in retrieving game from water, making them invaluable assets to hunters. Incorporating this skill set into the Golden Retriever lineage ensured that the breed excelled not only on land but also in water, fulfilling its role as a versatile gun dog. Furthermore, Sir Dudley possibly introduced trades from red setters and bloodhounds into the breeding mix. Red setters were known for their keen hunting instincts and energetic nature while bloodhounds possessed a remarkable sense of smell and tracking abilities. By considering these breeds, Sir Dudley aimed to imbue the Golden Retriever with a well-rounded skill set suitable for various hunting tasks. Through these careful selections, Sir Dudley sought to create a Golden Retriever that embodied the ideal characteristics of a gun dog, intelligent, athletic, and versatile. He spent 20 years carefully choosing the right breeds to mix with Nu making sure each trait added something special to the mix. And you know what? His hard work paid off. These mixtures made the Golden Retriever super popular. Initially recognized as flat-coated Retriever Golden, Golden Retrievers were originally perceived as a variation of the flat-coated Retriever breed, alongside which they were acknowledged by the Kennel Club in 1903. 
However, a significant turning point occurred in 1904 when a Golden Retriever's triumph in a field trial propelled them into the spotlight, leading to their participation in dog shows by 1908. By 1911, England celebrated the establishment of the Golden Retriever Club, a dedicated breed club that rebranded them as yellow or golden retrievers, signifying a notable departure from flat-coated retrievers. But it wasn't until 1913 that the Kennel Club commenced separate registrations for Golden Retrievers. Finally, in 1920, they officially adopted the name Golden Retriever, shedding the yellow ore prefix. They were initially dubbed Golden Flat Coats, but later in 1920, they were formally recognized as Golden Retrievers. Sir Dudley's unwavering commitment ensured that the Golden Retriever evolved into one of the most cherished and versatile dog breeds worldwide that we know today from hunting companions to global stars. Thanks to Sir Dudley, who meticulously recorded their development in detailed books published in 1952, we have a clear understanding of their origins. As the 20th century unfolded, golden retrievers gained attention for their intelligence and loving demeanor, making them popular both as working dogs and family pets. Their fame spread beyond England, reaching North America by the early 1900s where they quickly captured the hearts of many dog enthusiasts. In the early 1900s, Winifred Charlesworth played a pivotal role in establishing the Golden Retriever Breed Club and securing recognition from the Kennel Club. She authored the initial breed standard, which the Kennel Club adopted with minimal changes still followed today. Charlesworth also bred and presented the first Golden Retriever Show champion, advocating for the preservation of the breed's working abilities. Introducing Golden Retrievers to field trials, she garnered interest from hunting enthusiasts, further contributing to the breed's popularity and reputation. Following the First World War, the Golden Retrievers' popularity soared, spreading to various parts of the Western world by the 1920s and 30s. Official recognition from the Canadian Kennel Club came in 1927, followed by the American Kennel Club in 1932. Similarly, France registered its first Golden Retriever in 1934, with Australia joining in 1937. This widespread appeal helped the breed avoid the decline seen in many British dog breeds during the Second World War, as strict breeding restrictions didn't impact it as severely. With ample quality breeding stock globally, the Golden Retriever retained its unique traits. And since the 1940s, its popularity has continued to grow, solidifying its position as one of the most recognized and frequently registered dog breeds in the Western world. Beyond hunting, a multi-talented breed. Throughout history, Golden Retrievers have played a significant role beyond the hunting fields, showcasing their remarkable intelligence and trainability in various capacities. As we delve into the historical narrative, we discover how these beloved dogs have evolved to become invaluable companions and helpers in different contexts. In the early days, golden retrievers were primarily bred as gun dogs, assisting hunters in retrieving game during hunting expeditions. However, their exceptional qualities soon caught the attention of individuals seeking assistance beyond the realm of hunting. As societal attitudes towards disability and mental health began to evolve, Golden Retrievers emerged as pivotal figures in providing support and assistance to those in need. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, asylums and hospitals increasingly recognized the therapeutic benefits of animal companionship, leading to the integration of dogs like Golden Retrievers into therapy programs. With their gentle disposition and intuitive nature, Golden Retrievers quickly became trusted companions for individuals dealing with various disabilities and emotional challenges. From guiding the visually impaired to offering comfort to those struggling with mental health conditions, these dogs played a vital role in enhancing the quality of life for many. Moreover, as advancements in search and rescue techniques emerged, Golden Retrievers found themselves at the forefront of rescue missions too. Their keen sense of smell, agility, and unwavering determination made them indispensable assets in locating missing persons in diverse environments and conditions. A legacy of loyalty and love. As time passed, Golden Retrievers transitioned from their role as hunting dogs to becoming valued members of households across the globe. Their trainability and friendly nature made them ideal companions for families and individuals alike. 
from providing emotional support to those in need to assisting individuals with disabilities, golden retrievers have played a significant role in enhancing the lives of people throughout history. Today, golden retrievers are among the most loved dog breeds globally. Their loyalty, easygoing nature, and ability to learn quickly make them treasured pals for families and individuals everywhere. So whenever you gaze into your golden retriever's friendly eyes, think about the incredible journey this breed has been on, from a dream in Scotland to becoming a beloved part of households worldwide. The story of the golden retriever shows us how carefully choosing traits in breeding can create amazing companions and highlights the special connection between humans and their furry friends. What do you like the most about Goldies? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.